Hello, I'm Jackie Valencia Lauper, and welcome to the very first exciting episode of Jackie's Buzz. So hello, all you buzzers. This is the show that will give you the buzz on what's happening in the New England and Tri-State areas in the world of entertainment and other news. Hi, I'm Jackie Valencia Lauper, and welcome to the very first episode of Jackie's Buzz, and we're very excited to have Ephraim J. Adams with us today. How did you prepare to get into movie making? Did you go to school, or are you in school, or...? I always say that in life, you know, the best thing you could possibly do is probably jump right into it mm -hmm. and discover things for yourself. But after I did, I did that. I did a, a couple of films that were mostly like a dark horror martial arts. And you know, afterwards, I saw it, looked at my work, see what I wanted to improve, and that's when I decided that I wanted to go to school and maybe take a few classes and learn how to improve my shots and work on my te my technical aspects. Of that's filmmaking. very cool. And uh, what was your very first project, and how did you get started? Um, my <laughs> first project, do we want to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> that um, sounds interesting. It's called uh, Black Snake, mm -hmm. and it was an action-adventure, and a guy could had magical powers, and you can watch it online if you ever want to. Why <laughs> you would, I don't know. <laughs> And I had a lot of community support, so that really helped. And we ended up making three of them. Wow. Because they became pretty successful. And, you know, everyone came back to do the sequels, and they ended up being these one hour, two hour full length films. And then that's when I was like, okay, wow. maybe I'm really ready to do some things. Very yeah. impressive. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Um, and you really are, I mean, I have to say, I don't want to make you blush or anything, but very talented, very creative for someone so young. And you're already building a name for yourself in um, New England. How does it feel to already have an impact in the New England film, I should say? <laughs> I think it's just really important that we all stick together, you know? Um, the talent here is so much, so much talent. Yes. Talented people, they're doing things, but I think the main problem is that there's no outlet, mm -hmm. you know, a lack of resources. Yes. And people tend to come here for their school and then they go and they work somewhere else mm -hmm. and they're not, you know, necessarily economically empowering the community. Mm -hmm. So I always made a promise to myself that, you know, once I go out there and I become successful, that I'll come back and, you know, pit money into the tax credits and, Good. you know, pit money into schools and things like that. You know, Yay. I think that's really important. That's awesome. So you must have been happy about the Connecticut tax film credit staying right? I think it's a, it's a amazing thing, you know. Um, a good friend of mine is finally getting the money and the interest to work, you know, and do a real big budget movie here in Hartford and use all the locals and wow, get wonderful. the businesses here and, you know, people will eat at restaurants and... You know, they, you know, it's, yeah. it's a great thing. Oh, that's wonderful. And where do you see yourself in five years? What's your... In five years? <laughs> <laughs> five, ten, tell us where oh, you see yourself. I try not to think about that really? because I don't want to, you know, you don't want to be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going further. But for the, uh, I guess for the most part in five years, I just, you know, I at least get into distribution. Yeah. You know, you always want to reach a wider audience. Not necessarily yeah. Hollywood. You know. Right, right. I know. It's never really the goal, but, you know, just to reach people and maybe inspire others, you That's know, so that nice. would be good. And is there anybody industry-wise that you've always wanted to work with or that you admire? Or? Like directors, actors? Yeah. Uh, I guess both. <laughs> what yeah. <a> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as they're talented, you know? Yeah. I've always enjoyed... I love old-school Hong Kong cinema. Oh, so nice. Jet Li has been very instrumental as far as my action stuff. Oh, cool. Um, for horror, I love Wes Craven. Yes. I'm you know, sure. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street <laughs> <laughs> and all those things like that. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people. Big influences. Yeah. And a recent interesting story it's happened with Ephraim where he was um, shooting in Hartford and it turned out to be a real life <laughs> news story. We were watching an old fashioned movie gun duel, but it turns out that was a major plot twist. It was a scene out of a movie, literally a movie shoot. Two people dueling with guns in hand on a footbridge crossing Interstate 91, caught here on a traffic camera. The only problem was nobody knew it was fake. Not drivers, not the police. Police officers bum rushed us, and I suppose that someone thought that they were real. Ephraim Adams says he was filming a film adaptation of the Disney cartoon Darkwing Duck. Highway drivers saw the fake guns, called the police, 
and they took the 23-year-old student and his actors he hired from Craigslist into custody. I've filmed in Hartford with fake guns before, so it never came to mind. Maybe now I would be a little bit safer. Carlos Arce owns the gas station a few hundred yards from the footbridge. He was shocked to see 20 police cars race to the bridge this afternoon. I know they learned their lesson because it's not a joke. Because anybody could think it's a real gun. But Adams, despite his arrest, says this isn't the end of his film career. I'm still just a student and I love film and that's what I want to do and nothing's really going to stop. Can you tell us a little about that, Ephraim? Yes, I was recently... <laughs> You're embarrassing me a little. I was recently arrested. <laughs> for, uh... What they ended up giving me was a breach of peace. Okay. Which is the equivalent of blasting loud music late oh, at night. Not so it's not that serious. Yeah. But, uh... We were on the freeway, and I've shot here before. It was in Hartford. And we are doing our little martial arts thing, and the big scary bad guy, and, and the horror and stuff. And I don't know what I was thinking, but, <laughs> you know, the characters, they had guns. And I guess all anyone saw from this freeway was people kung fu fighting with hands and guns. <laughs> Over a fridge or something? Over a bridge, yeah, yeah. Over a bridge. <laughs> We wrapped up, we all sat down, got ready to eat lunch, <laughs> and 20 cop cars came out oh my goodness. of nowhere. Cops. Oh my they goodness. had blocked off the interstate, and it was just so embarrassing. Wow. They sent dogs up after us. Oh my goodness. And me and the two actors that were there, you know, cops came, hands up, everyone on the floor. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> Hollywood moment or what? <laughs> this really um, is. Well, I understand, you know, if you get a call like that, they have no choice but to come out, you know, and right. we didn't necessarily have the right permits. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, I mean, my thing was after they found what the situation was, maybe they didn't have to arrest me. <laughs> but, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. You but know. at least it was a little, a little yeah. fun. But there's definitely two, you know, two sides to that. And I'm sorry that it happened. And, cause this big chaos. Oh my goodness. On the plus, they got a lot of publicity out of it. I was going to say, yeah. that's quite a good publicity yeah. thing for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> but by all means, don't go out and, you know, get yourself arrested. It's not fun. It's not something that I enjoy. <laughs> no. but, you know. Well, that was quite an entertaining story, Ephraim. <laughs> and even though it ended well and everything is fine, we do want to uh, say maybe in future we probably would talk course, more about yeah. permits, right? Yeah, by all means, don't go out and just shoot and do any old thing. You know, get arrested. It's not. It's not fun. Definitely look into permits more. Exactly. Next time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And what is next for you on the horizon, Ephraim? What's next on the agenda? Um, I would love to do something that maybe takes place in a different time era. Awesome. You know, something where I can get into makeup and work on my uh, wardrobe skills and have someone come in and give me advice on what happened at this point in history. Well, thank you so much, Ephraim. Thank for you for having us. me. Ephraim J. Adams, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be seeing a lot more of him in the future, a very talented up-and-coming talent. Thank you so much for joining Jackie's Buzz.